when i share i'll mute myself and then turn my camera off because it creates problem aj cronin was a doctor and novelist he was born in cardross in scotland Cronin practiced as a physician for several years but became a full-time writer after the success of his first novel Hatter's Castle. He went on to publish a number of novels and novellas such as The Stars Look Down, The Citadel, Country Doctor and The Keys of the Kingdom. A few of his novels were also made into films. Most of Cronin's works are a commentary on the harsh social realities of his times and often reflect his medical background. His heroes are usually idealistic and strive hard to bring justice to the common man. His best known and most influential novel is The Citadel, written from the perspective of Andrew Manson, a newly qualified doctor. The novel deals with ethics in the medical profession. The book was made into a film in 1938. The story Birth is an extract from The Citadel. It speaks of a life-changing experience that Andrew Manson had while practicing as a doctor in a mining village in Wales. The doctor is preoccupied with personal concerns until the birth of a child changes his perspective on what is important in life. The story makes us ponder about the miracle of birth. and also highlights how professionals may need to go beyond textbook knowledge while discharging their duty here is a summary of the story birth by aj cronin dr andrew manson walked slowly towards his house it was almost midnight He was lost in thought after a stressful evening with Christine, the woman he loved. He found Joe Morgan, a driller, pacing up and down outside his house, waiting for him. Joe Morgan was relieved to see the doctor because his pregnant wife, Susan, was expecting the baby before time. The baby would be the Morgans' first one after 20 years of marriage. Andrew who was preoccupied with his thoughts until then hurried with joe to the morgan's house joe stayed outside the house as andrew went in he sounded worried but expressed his faith in andrew andrew walked into a bedroom where susan's mother and a midwife waited beside the bed where susan lay andrew realized that it would be some time before the child was born as did Susan's mother the old woman anxious that he might leave offered to make him a cup of tea as andrew drank tea in the kitchen downstairs he realized that this case would need all his attention he decided to stay till the baby was born an hour later he checked his patient's progress and came back to sit by the kitchen fire with the old woman his thoughts wandered to the unhappy couples he knew but he still believed that if he and christine married theirs would be a happy marriage his rational mind and his sensitive heart seemed to be in conflict about this as he sat there deep in thought he was startled when the old lady said that susan did not want andrew to use chloroform if it would harm the baby the old lady said that the mother and indeed the entire family was desperately awaiting the baby's arrival andrew assured her that neither the baby nor the mother would be harmed at half past 3 andrew went upstairs to help with the birth after an hour of struggle at dawn the child was born lifeless andrew was horrified He was torn between his desire to revive the baby and his responsibility towards the suffering mother. He turned to save the mother who was in a terrible condition. He administered an injection and managed to revive her. He then turned to the baby. The nurse had placed it under the bed. 
Andrew picked up the child and saw how white it looked. He realized that the baby was unconscious because of lack of oxygen and remembered the treatment used in a similar case. He decided to try it to save the baby. He asked the midwife to quickly fetch hot and cold water. When the water arrived, he started to plunge the baby alternately into the hot and cold baths. Fifteen minutes later, the infant was still not breathing and Andrew started to despair. Susan's mother and the midwife stared at him in shock and dismay. Andrew recollected the family's desperate longing for a child. He persevered, rubbing the child with a rough towel and pressing and releasing the baby's chest to get it to breathe. And then, wonder of wonders, the baby began to breathe. It let out its first cry and slowly turned pink. Andrew handed over the baby to the stunned midwife and saw that Susan's mother was praying soundlessly. He then went downstairs exhausted. He assured Joe that both mother and child were all right. As Andrew walked back home, his thoughts were in a whirl. Everything that he had done so far in Blainally was forgotten. He felt that he had finally done something meaningful. The main character in the story is Andrew Manson. Joe Morgan, Mrs. Morgan's mother and the midwife play minor roles. Click each label to learn more about the characters. Are we still connected? Yes, yes sir. Okay. This is also tension. Andrew Manson is a doctor and the protagonist of the story. He's a competent doctor. Though he's initially conflicted about whether to give his attention to the mother or the baby, he acts quickly once he decides to revive the mother first. His skills are obvious from the way he remembers and implements a procedure for resuscitating a stillborn child. Andrew is perseverant. He remembers the promises he had made to the family and perhaps also the faith that Joe had shown in him and persists till he revives the baby. He does not pay any attention to the midwife who is certain that the baby is dead. Andrew is a kind and empathetic person. He decides to stay back at the Morgan's house even though it meant waiting for a long while. He understands the seriousness of the case and also empathizes with the family's hopes of finally having a baby. He kindly explains to Mrs. Morgan that chloroform will harm neither the baby nor the mother. While he tries to revive the baby, he thinks about how the family would feel on losing a baby born after 20 long years. Andrew is quite conflicted in his mind with regards to his personal life. He rationally feels that marriage is difficult based on his observations, but his love for Christine makes him believe that his marriage will be successful. Joe Morgan is a driller whose wife is expecting their first child after nearly 20 years of marriage. He comes across as nervous. He's shown to be walking restlessly, first outside the doctor's house and then outside his house, too tense to enter. This characteristic could be situational as his wife is expecting a baby after many years and he's quite worried. Mrs. Morgan's mother is a caring and concerned mother. She conveys her daughter's request to Andrew not to use chloroform to ensure that the baby is unharmed. She also stays in the room throughout the birth of the child and afterwards to be by her daughter's side. Mrs. Morgan's mother is also quite observant. 
she quickly notes the expression on Andrew's face when he first examines Susan and offers to make tea as a way of keeping him in the house. Throughout Andrew's struggle to revive the baby, she remains stoic and calm. The midwife is a stout and elderly lady present to oversee the birth of Morgan's child. She does not appear very competent. When Andrew gives her the child to hold, she assumes it is dead and places it under the bed. The midwife is not of much help. While Andrew is trying to resuscitate the child, she is just a shocked onlooker, terrified of what she sees. Thus, her attitude and actions are in stark contrast to Andrew's. Now let us examine the story closely. The setting of the story is a small house in Blainley, a fictitious mining town in Wales. The events of the story take place between midnight and dawn. The house belongs to a driller, Joe Morgan, whose wife is expecting their first baby after nearly 20 years of marriage. The particular family circumstance helps the reader better understand the motives for the character's actions, right from Joe Morgan's nervousness to Andrew's determination to save the baby. The story is centered on the miracle of childbirth. The child in the story is born to a couple after nearly 20 years of marriage. This miraculous birth is further enhanced by the manner in which the doctor in the story manages to breathe life into a child who was apparently born dead. The birth of the child transforms the lives of not just its family, but in this case also that of the doctor. The doctor who saves the child's life also feels that he has finally achieved something real, almost as though it is the first significant event in his life. Another theme in the story is that practical medical knowledge can achieve what is considered to be impossible. Andrew goes beyond his textbook knowledge of medicine and remembers a treatment that was implemented in a similar case. This helps him snatch the baby out of the jaws of death. The title of the story, Birth, is highly symbolic. It is not restricted to the birth of the baby alone. Joe and Susan Morgan and Susan's mother are also now a father, mother and grandmother respectively, signifying the birth of their new roles. Most importantly, the title signifies the birth of Andrew, the protagonist, as a truly competent doctor who goes beyond the call of duty to save lives. Now that you have an understanding of the story, Birth, let's take a short quiz based on it. Should we go for the quiz right now or should we discuss something first and then we'll go to the quiz? Sir, quiz. So have you understood the story completely? Going to quiz means we do not need to discuss anything. Our first discussion. You have something to discuss. You want to ask something. Purvi. Yes, sir. Okay, beta, go ahead. Ask your question. Sir, we'll discuss that sir, and then we'll. Uh, yes, sir. Sir, hmm. uh, if uh, the uh, means that uh, wife was pregnant and she was ex expecting that baby, so why they don't take her to the hospital for uh, instead of waiting for the uh, uh, geo for the doctor coming home? Okay. They could have 
visited a hospital they could have means joe morgan could have taken his wife to a hospital to a nursing home for the delivery instead of waiting for a doctor to come home and do that why did they not do so that is the question now see no appropriate reason no authentic statement as such was written by aj cronin in this story anywhere so once again my answer is same as i said last time so when somebody was asking when perhaps swastika asked the question that again the answer will be based on your own thought or your own opinion or your own imagination okay so let me open this question for the class question is very good but see in literature an answer can only be appropriate if something like that or some reason was mentioned somewhere in the story by the writer if not then it comes to our creativity to our imagination so by your creativity or by your imagination you can create and give a reason to this so the question is open to class would anyone like to give a reason sir me yes swasti sir perhaps um uh, jo morgan was had faith in doctor rather than any nursing home or hospital because he was waiting for um yes, two last hours yes. yes sir one, last one, two one, to one, three hours yes sir he would have more faith uh, in the doctor because he was also waiting for a few hours for him to arrive and check her wife so very good reason given sometimes it happens though this doctor was quite young not very experienced there may be many more uh, experienced doctors there there may be many good nursing homes over there but the thing is he was waiting for this doctor in particular so this shows that uh, probably he had all faith in him he wanted this particular doctor only to deal with this so uh, yes, sir. that was the only reason why he did not uh, want to take his wife somewhere and he waited for him this is one very good reason yes others Sir, can there be some other reason sir money can also be a reason money may also be a reason this was a cheaper doctor he doesn't pay much he doesn't charge much so uh, probably they thought of <laughs> uh, getting this thing dealt by this particular doctor only he was a driller and was not very well to do so that could be one reason not very strong but yes purvi gave a reason so we have got two reasons now any third reason sairam Sir, sir, she may not be in the condition to take to the hospital. Take to the hospital. No, uh, when this doctor arrived, she was quite comfortably lying in the bed, and so uh, her physical condition in the story, as we have seen, doesn't suggest that she was not in a position or in a condition to be taken. to a hospital you can say unavailability of ambulance unavailability of a vehicle that could be a reason yeah in that locality there was no good nursing home the place where they lived they resided was such a place where there was hardly any nursing home it seems kyunki humne dekha tha aisa lag raha tha to ye sab hai theek hai not very strong reasons but yes ho sakte hain reasons i am expecting others to speak to 
if they are all really there ज्वाइन करके भाग गया क्या सारे कौन कौन है जरा बताओ मुझे हाउ मेनी आर देर इन द क्लास नो यू हैव ऑलरेडी यू हैव ऑलरेडी स्पोकन पूर्वी स्पीकिंग सो आई नो दैट देर आर टू कुशाग्र गुप्ता से थर्टी फोर वॉट डज इट मीन थर्टी फोर अच्छा सारे हैं एंड ऑल आर अवेक बोलो भाई कुशाग्र टेल मी व्हाट डज थर्टी फोर मीन नहीं वो तो मुझे भी दिख रहा है भाई नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स आई कैन सी नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स तो तब दिखाई देते हैं जब आप एक बार ज्वाइन कर लेते हो और जब तक आप लीव नहीं करते उसके बीच में अगर आप वहां पे नहीं भी हो तब भी नंबर तो दिखेगा ना कैमरा सब लोग बंद करके ही बैठे मैं बोलूंगा ऑन करो तो बोलोगे टेक्निकल रीजन है कैमरा इज नॉट वर्किंग अब मैं फोर्स तो कर नहीं सकता कि कैमरा ऑन करो नहीं तो मैं रिमूव कर दूंगा आपको क्लास से आई कान फोर्स ये यहाँ पे भाई अगर आप बोलोगे एक टेक्निकल कॉज है नेट स्पीड ब्रॉडबैंड स्पीड जो भी है वो कम है मैं कैसे फोर्स कर सकता हूँ आपको कैमरा ऑन करो और मुझे दिखाओ कि आप वो क्लास में हम्म तभी पता चलता है जब आप रेस्पॉन्ड करते हो रेस्पॉन्सेस सिर्फ तीन चार ही आते हैं लिटरेचर में तो लिटरेचर की क्लास में तो प्रॉपर इंटरेक्शन चलते रहना चाहिए ठीक है मैं आपसे क्वेश्चंस क्यों पूछता हूं मैं इतना इतना टाइम इधर स्पेंड करने की वजह फटाफट फटाफट एक्सप्लेनेशन करके खत्म भी तो कर सकता हूं मैं डिस्कशन क्यों ओपन करता हूं बार बार इसलिए कि भाई थोड़ा सा आपसे रेस्पॉन्स मिलता रहे इंटरेक्शन होता रहे ऑनलाइन क्लास जो है वो थोड़ी सी लाइव क्लास लगे हम सारे अलाइव दिखे तो ठीक है पूर्वी का आंसर ज्यादा आप लोग नहीं देना चाहते बट पूर्वी पर आंसर एनीथिंग एल्स टू डिस्कस इन दिस लेसन या फिर मैं क्वेज पे आगे मूव करूं देखो सही no, सर क्या नो सर नो किसके लिए डिस्कशन के लिए या क्वेज के लिए डिस्कशन के लिए डिस्कशन के लिए पूर्वी क्वेश्चन ना व्हाट अबाउट अदर्स वेर इज लड्डू बट योर प्रेजेंस इज नॉट फेल्ड फॉर पास मेनी डेज Yes, sir. Are you not well? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because your voice is also not clear. Chalo, I am moving on to quiz. Then I'll put some questions. I'll ask not some questions, one question or two, open for discussion. Someone can speak because I am keeping my mic off. Sir, What option four. Audio. so you can open your option 4 sir option sir option 4 okay whatever you say i'll click on that okay that's correct andrew had just returned from a stressful evening with christine the girl he loved 
His mind had been occupied with conflicting thoughts, and so he was listless. Why did Joe not go inside the house? Second option. Second option. Second option. Second option. That's correct. This was Joe's first child, and he was quite nervous, as is evident from the fact that he was pacing up and down restlessly, even outside the doctor's house. Why did Mrs. Morgan's mother offer Andrew a cup of tea? Third option. Third. Third. That's correct. She realized that there was a possibility that Andrew might leave because the baby was not due for some more time. So she offered him tea to keep him in the house. Why was Andrew troubled as he waited in the Morgan's kitchen? Sir, option two. Sir, option two. Not quite. There is Sir, no indication one. that Sir, there is anything Sir, seriously Sir. wrong. That's correct. Andrew was troubled because he wanted to marry Christine, but he knew of many people in unhappy marriages. His heart and mind were in opposition to each other. Here one phrase was used for his mind and his heart. What was that? Does someone remember? If someone remembers, there was a conflict between his mind and heart and there was a phrase used here. Let me tell half of that. His rational mind and Chalo, when you will. Why did Mrs. Morgan's mother ask Andrew to avoid chloroform? Second option. The second, no, option. Second, option. second option. That's correct. The old woman informed Andrew that Susan, her daughter, did not want chloroform to be used if it might harm the baby. Why did the midwife place the child under the bed? Fourth option. The fourth option. That's correct. The midwife thought that the baby was still born, so she placed it under the bed, most likely to keep it out of the way. How did Andrew know how to treat the baby's condition? Sir, option three. First option. Third. Third. So third. Third option. Two. Third. That's correct. Andrew remembered a case he had seen in the Samaritan and the treatment that had been used. How did Andrew feel as he walked back home? So it's option second. 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 That's correct. Andrew realized that he had finally achieved something worthwhile.
he felt that he had fulfilled his duty as a doctor by touching so many lives with his action. Now two things for discussion. As you said, the story is clear to you, and as you've gone through the quiz also, and uh, you were successful, you could manage to give all correct answers except for one, where we needed to try once again. Otherwise, all your answers were correct. So because the story is clear, and we have discussed the story earlier also, long ago. to this title every year i tell my students that instead of calling this story birth i call it rebirth the title is birth but if i call it rebirth would you agree the child was born once that was its birth but with all the efforts of doctor a baby that was considered dead was reborn if he did not try yes there was life yes there was possibility that's why it became it came back to life there was chance there was possibility otherwise it wouldn't have but the thing is but the question is that it was considered dead still born baby and it was kept under the bed which means almost almost thrown away treated as a dead one supposing the doctor did not try or if he tried for 10 15 minutes 20 30 minutes and was not successful if he didn't try persistently for such a long time if he didn't put all that grave effort the child wouldn't have come back to life then in that case it was dead so a baby that was born once birth died also considered dead tried to bring back to life did not come to life for first 15 20 minutes nothing happened the doctor could have stopped trying nobody would have complained no would have nobody would have been angry at the doctor because everyone saw everyone means the mother and the midwife so there was no fault of doctor if he considers it dead after having tried for 15 20 25 minutes 30 minutes if he declares it dead fine it was dead so the baby was born and died that was one thing one part with those grave efforts of the doctor it came back to life it revived actually it revived but because they have considered something can't we say that it was rebirth that is my question every time 
some students agree and some don't some say it should be considered as birth some say it can be considered as rebirth now what is your opinion this discussion is open for you sir i agree with it was a rebirth those who think it was birth can write b those who think it was rebirth can write r and i want 34 responses 32 everyone said rebirth i'm happy that you all agreed with me but i'm not happy because now there is no scope of discussion left if everyone agrees then no debate left but i wanted something i wanted you to come out with a different idea too there is no concept of rebirth chalo let me disagree with myself because you all agree there is no concept of rebirth in this world anything once born is born anything once dead is dead we don't see any such concept except for birds birds are twice born birds are twice born do you agree yes sir yes sir first as in first as in egg 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 and then as a as a bird chick, whatever baby bird so it is twice born and this is the reason why it is called something in hindi birds ko hindi mein uska ek paryay vachi hota hai kya hota hai wo jaise hum khag vihag pakshi bolte hain waise hi uska ek aur paryay vachi hota hai pakshi ka kya hota hai हिंदी चल द्विज सुना है किसने द्विज द्विज यस सर द्विज शब्द मींस ट्वाइस बॉन द्विज twice born jiska janm do bar hota hai that's why this term is given to birds to wahan pe hota hai we can say kai they are first born and they are not given an opportunity to be born again uske beech mein hi pata nahi kahan gayab ho jate hain है ना वो सेकंड बर्थ की अपॉर्चुनिटी बहुत कम बर्ड्स को मिल पाती है उसके पहले ही दे आर बॉइल्ड एंड कंज्यूम्ड बट इफ दे गेट एन अपॉर्चुनिटी तो क्या जब ऐसा कोई कंसेप्ट है ही नहीं रीबर्थ का बायोलॉजिकली साइंटिफिकली लॉजिकली इट इज इनकरेक्ट रैशनली इट इज इनकरेक्ट जो बात में बोल रहा हूं रीबर्थ रैशनली इट इज इन करेक्ट ठीक है बायोलॉजिकली इट इज इन करेक्ट कोई रीबर्थ नहीं होती 
साइंस में लेकिन सींग द सिचुएशन सींग द कंडीशन ऑफ द बेबी इट इज नॉट रॉन्ग टू से दैट इट वॉज रीबर्थ द बेबी वॉज री बॉर्न बाय द डॉक्टर ठीक है अनदर थिंग इट्स ऑलरेडी थ्री फोर्टी टू अनदर थिंग डॉक्टर वॉज एजुकेटेड इन मेडिसिन ही ग्रेजुएटेड इन मेडिसिन एंड ही बिकेम अ डॉक्टर दिस इज वन थिंग दैट वॉज हिज ऑन पेपर डिग्री दैट वॉज हिज थियरेटिकल स्टडी ही स्टडीड थियरी ही डिड इज प्रैक्टिकल ओवर देयर सो दिस इज वन पार्ट वन थिंग did his theoretical education help him in the delivery of that child no sir then what helped practical knowledge practical knowledge what kind of practical knowledge that he experienced in somewhere he saw Yes, sir. Hmm. There he saw something similar to that. So, the practical observation was something that helped him. Yes, sir. Okay. Now the question is: theoretical knowledge versus practical observation what is more important what is more important this is the question sir practical knowledge observation not knowledge i did not say practical knowledge i said theoretical knowledge and practical observation what would help you more which one practical will be more practical observation when i am asking this i am not denying the importance of other thing both are equally important but with both kind of knowledge which one is more important this is what i am asking when you say practical observation that doesn't mean you don't need a theoretical knowledge you need to study theory also without that only practical observation is not enough theek hai aapko theory bhi malum honi chahiye aur agar aap ye kehte ho ki theory is more important then also practical is needed to main deny dusri cheez ke liye karne ko to keh hi nahi raha hu aapse but more importance more helpful so the more helpful thing is practical observation you need to be observant ye term yahan pe use hui thi for somebody jab hum charo characters ko dekh rahe the wo video mein so this term was used for somebody not for doctor either for midwife children's or... mother yes it was used there <coughs> if you see something practically happening somewhere and if you pass on without noticing it without observing it without paying an attention to it nothing is harmful for you but yes something that you could have learned some lesson that could have helped you in life was missed so it is really important to keep your eyes and your ears open whenever and wherever you pass from anywhere tilly smith remembered what was shown by her geography teacher in the class it helped her somewhere else do you remember tilly smith yes sir yes sir 
ठीक है एंड आई नो यू वेरी वेल रिमेम्बर थ्री इडियट्स यस सर हाँ हाँ आई नो यू ऑल रिमेम्बर so the importance of practical observation is really really huge theek hai to ye jo do cheeze hain you can write something on these two because these are good questions for examination point of view birth or rebirth one question and second question theoretical knowledge or practical observation this is second ठीक है थिंक अबाउट इट राइट ऑन इट इट्स थ्री फोर्टी एट इफ यू डोंट हैव एनीथिंग टू आस्क यू कैन लीव द क्लास नाउ